Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! We are in a uh, little bit of panic mode. Wow, I don't know how you just did that, but yeah. <laughs> I'm Quincy. I'm Molly. I'm Melissa. And I'm Breed Love. And we are here today at Disney Springs for a team's ultimate Disney challenge. That's right. Breed Love and I are taking on Quincy and Melissa to see who is the Disney Springs champion. It's gonna be us. All right. Oh, so are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. They're ready. All right. On the count of three. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, Alright, <laughs> we get a few minutes to look at the board, so let's stop right over here in this nice little alcove and take a look at what we got to do. Um, act out your favorite scenes from Hanna's House next to Sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey? Well, I'm not sure about that one. Give yourself orange Mickey ears. Okay, that's strange, but... Show us your best prom poses and get it documented. The photo pass? <laughs> yeah, we're so totally different. You feel good? I feel great. I feel great. Yes. All right, awesome. let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we are headed to do our very first clue. Name your favorite slow ride next to an attraction. And there are a few attractions here in Disney Springs. There is a little train and a little carousel over in the marketplace. And right here, there's also the big balloon you can go in, the aerophile, but right here next to the boathouse are the amphicars. And if that's not an attraction, we don't know what is. So something awesome about the amphicar is the fact that you get your own photographer with you when you do it. So this gentleman right here is going to follow this family all along the dock here as they go into the water and take some likely very awesome photographs of them having a great time in their Amphicar. It's $125 and usually they only let, right now, three people in the back seat. No one's allowed to ride in front because of social distancing, but this is so awesome. Let's watch them take off. So we have to each tell you our favorite slow ride. Yes. Ma does, does Pirates of the Caribbean count? Uh, yes. I mean, it's a boat ride, but it's a slow boat. I so I'm saying Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, and I'm going to follow that train of thought and say it's a small world. Two slow boat rides. There we go. First square awesome. in a corner. We're on it. And so good. So good. <laughs> These are literally probably the best cookies in the entire oh, world. Oh, hands down. They are almost half a pound. They are six dollars each, which is pretty like they're pretty sizable cookies. But when you go to Gideon's, you typically have to get a like into a virtual line if you're not here early, and that line every day can end up being multiple hours. So it, it, it could be a hassle to get these cookies. They also have peanut butter cold brew. That is my favorite oh. cold brew, dare I say. My favorite yeah, cold brew <laughs> ever in the whole world. Like, at yeah. least at Disney World, for sure. But we grabbed a menu, and it definitely has a lot of chocolate on it, but we're going to count that as one of our chocolate. We're headed now over to Gideon's because look at these giant cookies. Look oh, at these giant cookies. My goodness. That's a larger than life treat if I've ever seen one. It's oh. truly, truly magically large. I love it. Gideon's is one of the newest locations at Disney Springs. It's a gourmet cookie shop. They have all these fabulous cookies. It is so good. It's probably my favorite dessert in Disney now. Um, and they have giant replicas of their signature cookies in the window. So like this is the pistachio toffee right here. You can see the big pistachio coming out of it. This is the chocolate chip. This is one of my favorites. It's the peanut butter chip. They also have a cookies and cream cookie. They have seasonal cookies. They have fabulous coffees, big giant cakes. It's basically like the Haunted Mansion had a bakery. It's incredible. You go first. Okay. We have to name. 12 iconic Disney snacks next to a larger than life treat. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna say churro. Pretzel. Popcorn. Mickey bar. Dole Whip. 
it to swirl? Coconut doll, what can we do? You think we can I, do? I don't no, think we can do no, that. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. okay. We okay, want to make okay, sure okay. we win. You said citrus swirl. Yeah. Uh, did we say? You said pretzel. Uh huh. Can yeah. I say cupcake? In yeah. General? I think okay. a giant a cupcake. cupcake. Okay. Rice Krispie treat. Oh, like amazing, a Mickey Krispie. Amazing. Amazing. Then I'm gonna do the um, lollipops, the Mickey oh, shaped lollipop. The big, giant yes. rainbow color. Yep. I'll say cotton candy. Oh, I love that. And I'm gonna say candied apple. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Oh. That's such a good one. Okay, I need one more. I love so many snacks. It's um. Beignets, Mickey beignets, beignets, and I cannot wait for them to come back. That is truly but there iconic. we go, 12 iconic snacks. Wow. Our next stop, we're continuing our chocolate quest. We are at Sprinkles. It is a cupcake bakery, and they have a cupcake ATM. Yes, you heard that right. It's so cool. <laughs> You've used it before. I have used it. It comes in a little box. They don't just, you know, hand you a cupcake <laughs> via the ATM or anything. But it's super fast. Slide, though. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> So you can either go in and grab a cupcake or just walk up to the ATM and they have all the selections and they come right out. All right, so we've changed our mind. There's a huge line for the Sprinkles ATM. We're gonna come back. You can only see the menu by hitting up the actual ATM. So we are going to get it going a little further, trying to make it to photo pass and get a bunch on the way still. And we're doing pretty well. We got, well we've got one part of one clue. That's, I feel optimistic. <laughs> While we're right here, we have to find chocolate on eight different menus. And where are you gonna find more chocolate than the ganachery? This is Disney Springs's chocolate shoppy. So we're gonna go in here. We're not sure if it actually has a menu posted, but we're gonna hope. All right, we are right here next to the Lime Garage Fountain. This is the place you want to park if you're headed to World of Disney. It's pretty in the middle of everything, I'd say. Yeah. But we, what do we even have to do here? Name three other Disney Springs next to a fountain. Okay, Saratoga Springs, um, Coronado Springs, and... Um, is there another one? There must be. I'm like running through I know. All right, so the ganachery has a really long line. We don't have time for it. So we're gonna start heading maybe over to the marketplace area. Yes, that sounds great. And let's look at menu boards along the way for chocolate and great. salad. Yum, my favorite combo. <laughs> it's, yeah, it can't, wow. No, it can't be. All right, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna take a- well, There's many fountains. We're gonna take a again on a different one. <laughs> this is embarrassing, it's fine, we got it. <laughs> Everything's fine. Wait, wait. It's it is super duper busy at Disney Springs today, so we are trying our best not to get in the way, but I found something that will delight us. It is a bunch of salads here, but we can only count one here at Paradiso 37. There's a ranchero, a Harbor Tropical, chopped salad, Caesar salad. We're just salads out of, out of control. So Paradiso 37, yes, I nailed it. Um, isn't the best restaurant in Disney Springs? They've got kind of, yeah, street food of the Americas. There's just so much good food in Disney Springs that it's, it's not fair, honestly. Um, but what Paradiso does have is a great happy hour, um, which is always great. They've got this big patio. So that's a fun thing. But for now, we like it because it has salad. We're moving towards the marketplace, but we're gonna keep looking at the menus around here as we go. Um, there's so many restaurants around here. I there's don't, like, should we look at the, the basket, basket at Wine Bar George? They might have a salad. I bet they do. Or some chocolate. I bet they do, yeah. I don't know if they have chocolate here. They've got wine. Is that a salad? Um, I don't see any salad or, oh, brownie. Brownie, 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 brownie. brownie. Wine Bar George is one of my favorite restaurants in all of Disney. It's brought to you by Master Sommelier George Villatotes, who I can't pronounce his name, but I love his work. I think that was a very <laughs> great pronunciation. Thank you. Um, but the uh, in the restaurant, there's obviously a bunch of wine, amazing cocktails, tapas, fabulous. But if you're looking for something quicker, you can actually come to the basket where you can do charcuterie boards and some snacky things, get a glass of wine or a frozen drink to go. And I adore it. So if you don't know, Disney Springs does have its own guest relations. It works very similar to the ones that you see in the parks. 
So if you have any questions, want to know where something is at, you can just ask a great cast member in here and they will direct you just like they did Quincy and I. So our lovely cast member took us to show us this Disney Springs seal that's under this table and it says Disney Springs, the source of inspiration. And we're pretty excited. Very excited. We have one. Yeah, we have one. And this is a very nice table here in Guest Village. Um, get, we're not guests. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're we are Guest Village. <laughs> Joffrey's is a ubiquitous coffee option here in Disney World. It is, along with Starbucks, something you'll find a lot of places. And it's very good coffee. Is it your favorite place to get coffee? I actually do prefer Joffrey's to Starbucks. To Starbucks. Okay, so I actually have had nothing but great experiences Hello. with Joffrey's coffee, too. And I really enjoy their cold brew with their seasonal flavors. Me, too. And I love if it's a, a year-round treat, the shaken Jamaican cold brew is my Ooh. favorite. But oh. we did just spot the yes. uh, Lion's Latte. Okay. And the menu board says that it has white chocolate in it. Warm. We are checking out the menu at the Boathouse now to see if we can find either a salad or chocolate or both. Here we go. Let's check it out. The Boathouse right here, this is a signature restaurant. Shocking to no one. It is seafood. Fabulous seafood. If you're an oysters lover, they have specialty oysters you can't get anywhere else. They've got great cocktails. I love, love, love their outdoor bar. Okay. We've got a seafood area sandwiches. We've got steak, sea and shore, market fresh fish, field day salads. We've got the wedge, the classic Caesar, the garden, and the chop. Four salads, we can only count one, but thank you, Boathouse. So here we are at Aaron McKenna's, which is um, a really great option for people who are either vegan or gluten-free or have various food allergies because they really cater to us. Okay, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and it's certified kosher. They make really interesting, delicious, sweet treats. Every once in a while, they'll have something um, like a cool savory option as well, but they're definitely known for their baked goods. This is definitely a place, if you or someone in your family is vegan or gluten-free or kosher or has any kind of special dietary needs, Come check out Aaron McKenna's at Disney Springs. Especially because they got chocolate all over the place. They got a chocolate chip brownie bite. They got chocolate chip cookie, chocolate tea cake, chocolate number three. Leave it to my people, the vegans. Chocolate galore. You know, chocolate's vegan, Molly. Did you know that? Not the kind I like. I like milk chocolate. Okay, okay. <laughs> fair, fair. Just two pals palling around Disney Springs looking for chocolate. This is just a normal. Shirts. Our shirts. This is just a normal weekend for right, me. Right? We also need to. We also need uh, to block them, honestly. So, if we could um, figure out what the last Disney Springs is, we could. <laughs> if only. If only we could figure out what the last Disney Springs is. There go that. Name three other. Uh, yeah, Coronado. Coronado and Saratoga. And Saratoga are our only. Yeah. Clues. Is there something in a park? Um, uh, um, uh, Radiator Springs Racers. Okay, we need to find out. Okay. Oh, we're walking by the fountain. We're walking by the fountain. <laughs> okay. All right. Radiator Springs Racers. That's, see, that's not in Disney World. That's, that's like probably me. why we didn't think about yeah, it. Yeah, Radiator Springs Racers is the Cars attraction in Disney uh, California Adventure. So Ooh, let's walk this way. We didn't think of that, but it's okay because we got it now. So and we're back at our back at fountain. Coronado Springs. Saratoga Springs. Radiator Springs. Yes. Racers. But yes, right. that's three. We got it. Okay. Another clue says, tell Orange Bird if you're team Dolip or Citrus Squirrel. And right here is this awesome selfie wall. It's kind of blocked right now by the line to get into Aaron McKinney's. But here's Orange Bird. He's the cutest little guy. And Orange Bird, I'm happy to tell you that I personally am team Citrus Squirrel, which is your dessert. Yes. I like the orange more than the classic pineapple Dole Whip. And I understand, but sir, I, I really love your cousin, the Dole Whip. 
You right. better get out of here. Okay, uh, sorry. 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 Sir. Okay, Look at those later. eyes. He's going to follow us. Yeah, oh my gosh. Is he, is he watching us yeah. as we walk away? So Wait, I'm so embarrassed. Oh. All right, so we have found on the Emirates menu hot and cold chocolate is right there at the bottom. And that is gonna be our second chocolate, which we need to pick up the pace on to be able to beat Molly and Breedlove. Hopefully just across the way at this Vivoli Il Gelato stand, yes, right here on the menu is- Chocolate, chocolate. chip That's and mint chocolate. chocolate chip and regular chocolate. <laughs> Lots of chocolate. <laughs> We're coming up on Terralina Crafted Italian um, because we're assuming that they have some kind of salad here on their menu. This is a pretty good Italian restaurant. Italian food isn't the best in Disney World. Um, and I personally have a hard time eating Italian because it's something I can get almost anywhere. But if you are gonna eat Italian and you don't want pizza, this is a great spot. They've got some great pastas. Not saying they don't have good pizza, but if you want pizza, go to be an athlete. And I'll tell you that I came here and ate and asked for plant-based options and they said if you trust the chef to whip you something up especially for especially for you That's nice. and I said absolutely I trust the chef and it was delicious. Okay. So don't be afraid if you have our if you're on a special diet have special dietary needs if you have food allergies always ask your server because they can make some magic. They can make magic here. Okay, looking at the menu, and yet we've got the from the garden section. We've got a caprese, we got a Caesar, we have an Italian salad, bunches of salads here. So we'll take it. And while we're at it, dessert menu. They have Sundays with chocolate. Thank you, Terralina. So here we are at Paddlefish. This looks like a paddle boat, right? But it's actually not. It's a um, it's a it's a building. It's a structure that's that's been here actually for a long time. It used to be called the Empress Lillian. I think it was called the Empress Lillian, named after Walt's wife. And they had a really popular breakfast, a character breakfast here, way back in the day. Okay. Yes, Chip and Dale were here. It was a yeah. very, it was it was sort of more, I would say, um, opulent in yeah. its decor at the yeah. time. So this is a, a, a piece of yes. Disney yes. history yes. here, and definitely something to check out when you're when you're here next. Looking at paddlefish. Now this menu is pretty hit or miss. I've had some really great things here. I've had some not great things here. But what is great is their crab cake. What's also great is they've got all this soup and salad right here. So they've got a Caesar, a wedge, a caprese, a green. And looking down here, we've got the dessert menu, chocolate layer cake. Hello. Hello. Let's go get the dinosaur. T-Rex is super cool because it's got a lot of theming. Not so super cool because the food isn't always the best in the whole world, but we are right here near this Tyrannosaurus Rex, who I would call a prehistoric giant. We have to name eight locations in Dinoland. Hope yeah, it's like, there we go. Then the springs. Okay, so, All right. dinosaur. Um, does Primeval World count still? It's still up. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Chester and Hester's the store. Um, Tricer Triceratops thing. Uh, Dino Bite snacks. Um, oh my goodness. I'm thinking of the popcorn stand. Okay, it's fine. Tylo, it's fine. It's fine. That is one, um, but Restaurant Source is another. Still not the popcorn stand. Um, um, we're at seven. Restaurant Source Lounge. Do we need a different one? I dinosaur. Did different one. I did dinosaur. You did? <laughs> yeah, I think you did a different one. Okay, okay. What is going oh, I know, I know. I, I've, done, I've done two extras. Wow, this oh, is no. really okay. so um, embarrassing. Okay. They're getting dino clues. I'm just over here racking up soup and salad. Because they clearly yeah. already are getting the dinosaur one. So right. soup and salad, got it. Yes. Where's dessert? Where's dessert? Where's dessert? dessert. Boom. Oh, the boneyard? Yes, the, the boneyard. Bone okay, we got it. <laughs> We can just tell that. Dinosaur, but we just got right another super, and We got another salad and another but chocolate. We, wow. But we, we got have, the we boneyard. Too many, almost. I mean, yes, we, got the, we got this one. Uh -huh, the obvious one? That's cool. How many chocolates do you have? We have a lot of chocolates. But, uh, like, how many? About 12 or uh, so. I don't think you have 12. We have 12 chocolates, right? Yeah, we have like 37. I think I don't, 37. I don't think that's how many chocolates yeah, you have. Yeah, we have a lot of chocolates. Yeah, we, had, we have we so many, many chocolates. chocolates we ate like, chocolate. We've yeah, already had a meal. Wow. I did a chocolate mud. Yeah. That sounds like it's a yeah. lot. Have fun yeah. with that's your that's dinosaur. Bye. 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 <laughs> Have fun with your hats. <laughs> yeah, you get them, Melissa. <laughs>
I see Sorcerer Mickey. I see Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, oh, I see him. He's alive. Oh, he's, 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 he's new. He's new. He's new. Is that new? Yes. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's go to. Let's abandon our photo pass plan for now. Okay. Let's go get giant mustache and block their road. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So in front of the Lego store now, there is a Sorcerer Mickey. The, the Lego store is so fun. We have to act out our favorite scene from Fantastic. Okay, oh my gosh. the bubble scene yes. where it goes, Dun, 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 Stop imagination, huh? Did it die? Magic. <laughs> Magic. Wow. That's, wow. I'm, it's like we were there. I know, and I, I there are little misty tears in the corner of my eye that because, wow, I miss Fantasmic. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite nighttime spectacular. I miss it so much. Do you think there's a big mustache in there? Maybe. There's no line for art of shaving. No. They're gonna be confused as to why we're headed in there. Gotta get the hey. hair trimmed up. You don't know what I have under this mask. It's true. That's true. <laughs> you can have a beautiful mustache. Hi. Hi. We have a weird question. All right, we are headed to get a giant mustache. We think we know who it is. Coming up on Once Upon a Toy, this is obviously a toy shop. It's got my main man buzz right here and a fine looking potato if I've ever seen one. Wow, this is an amazing potato. That's a mustache if I have ever seen a mustache. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Did I hit you in the head with no, my head? No, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. I we feel persevere. Great. We, we persevere. did it. We did it. We did it. So, we're here with our man with a giant mustache, in my opinion, and a dog, and a dog who, who also, also has, has a mustache. mustache. <laughs> um, but we had to send off to our producers because they got Mr. Potato Head's mustache at the same time, which is a bigger mustache. I'll, I'll say it's a bigger mustache, but is it better? Is it? A dog massage? Is it a dog stash? <laughs> I don't think so. So we're gonna have to wait and see what our producers say. Yes! Great news! Potato head stash is the best stash. Yes. Called in our favor and the square is ours. And this is a happy stash dance. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just stroking a stash. <laughs> Okay, so since the potato is ruled in our favor, we only need one to win, but it's about, it's over at the movie theater. Okay. I don't know if you can see right up ahead, there's a Raya photo op. Yeah. So, Raya and the Last Dragon is the newest Walt Disney Animation Studios film. It came out concurrently in theaters and on Disney Plus for premium access, so you had to pay a little extra to watch it. It'll come out regularly on Disney Plus soon. But it is a super cute movie. I loved it so I, much. I loved it. Love isn't even a big enough word for Ryan. <laughs> Look how cool this is. All right, so let's not waste cool. any time. You're right, you're right. All let's right. Tell her Channel, our of the movie. All of the energy. Right. Favorite part? Yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. So. Okay, uh, my favorite part, no spoilers. Finding out what Sisu is really good at. That's good. My favorite part is um, the fight scene between Raya and the main bad lady. Yes. At the, at the very end. That's my favorite yes. part. Yes. Really good. So we'll get that one. <laughs> Do you see what I see? It is Donald and Daisy. Okay, we have to mimic them and take a selfie and send it to the other team. Okay. We can do that. We can totally do that. Would you like to be Daisy or Donald? I would like to be Donald because okay. I know that Daisy's your favorite character and that your dog's <laughs> named Daisy, so I want you to be Daisy and I want I to be really Donald. I appreciate it. Yeah. And this is, as you say, she is in a sassy pose. Yeah. On brand. We can do it. So I gotta be holding something. I'll hold my clipboard and look mad. 
Um, well, that's the hand that's pointing, so I guess... That's beautiful. Well, that's nice. Really that's, that's, that's really nice. Our finest work. While we're here, so this is Pin Traders. Um, it is, if you're a pin collector, you gotta come here because they have all sorts of pins. Um, it's not a huge store, but it's basically all pins. I don't know, are you a pin person? I'm not, but I have to say that I have been here and I picked up some fashion pins. Ooh. I picked up a pack of mystery pins about uh, old icons of Disneyland. That's awesome. I got the Mons Monsanto House of the Future. And I was so excited that I actually think I might have scared cast members here because I was like, it's the Monsanto House of the Future. And they were looking and going, oh, you mean the box of pins no one buys? Anyway. That you, sounds amazing. You could find your treasure here. You, you really could. should, even if you're not a pin collector. Yeah, and what I like about pins is they're not super expensive. So it's yeah. a really fun take home. You can get, you could get one every trip. You, you, I mean, if you collect, great. If you yeah. trade, great. But otherwise it's fun to just get a few and have them on display somewhere. Exactly. I put a bunch on a denim jacket and now Ooh, I feel cool. That makes me feel cool by uh, proxy. <laughs> so we are walking by the ganachery. This is a chocolate shop. Obviously ganache is the main attraction and they sell something special called pinatas, which are these big chocolate domes. They're super cool, super tasty. They look very, very rich. All right, so we are outside the window and so as to not bother this big line of people who are waiting for the ganachery and going in and not getting anything, Liz and I are gonna go ahead and do the food from out here. We cleared that with our producer and it's totally fine since we're not bothering anybody. We're as close as we can get to a chocolate pinata and we're gonna name the three caballeros who are Donald, Panchito, and Jose. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna write you down for that one right now. All right, cool. We're, yeah, we're at it. We'll just go ahead and do that. Cool. There's a time of day when your skin gets really tan, your eyes get really blue, and this oh happens God. every time we film together. Thank you. And it's like the magic time. Are you getting complimented right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were still on the phone. That's the ultimate. There's this camera hunting Molly's on camera appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk away from that. If you don't know, the ganache actually releases those pinatas. That is a chocolate pinata that comes with a little wooden hammer that says the ganache, really cute. And you bang it and inside there are typically like marshmallow treats, I think. Yeah. Um, but they release them seasonally, I would say, for big holidays or events. So right now the Easter one is out since it's Easter and spring break. And if you happen to be in Disney World, want to celebrate a holiday or something special, see if the ganachery has a super cute chocolate pinata. It is a 16-minute okay. standby queue line. So we are headed over by World of Disney. There's a 60-minute wait to go into World of Disney, which is wow. Bonkers Town, USA. Wow, it's an e-ticket attraction. Yeah, um, but the reason we're here, not to shop, shockingly, knowing us, but there is a topiary right here of our sweet pal Mickey Mouse. All right, so we have to name six flower and garden topiaries next to a topiary. It's yes. Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot right now, my favorite festival. And one of the best things about it is that they have these beautiful topiaries all over of different Disney characters. So we have to name 12. That's a lot. Six each. Can we do it? We can do it. Okay. You start. All right, I'm gonna start with the obvious one, Mr. Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm gonna start with the obvious one, Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I'm gonna start with uh, another obvious Minnie Mouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna say Snow White. Okay, I'm gonna say Goofy. Great. I'm gonna say the Three Caballeros. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna say Pluto. Yes. I'm gonna say Belle. I'm gonna say Daisy Duck. Oh yeah, you gotta say Daisy. Um, I'm gonna say Peter Pan. Okay, and I'm not gonna say... Can I say Donald? He's in the Three Caballeros. But he also has another big one over with Yes. Daisy and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So I Which think you so can say beautiful. Donald again. Yes, all the beautiful duck family. Um, and I could say Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but I'll say another one. Oh, my favorite one, actually, yes. besides Buzz, because I love Buzz, obviously. The Lady and the Tramp in Italy. Whatever flower they used to do, her ears is so cool and beautiful. fluffy, and it yes. gets bigger throughout the festival. It's awesome. Magical. All right. Oh, there's also a figment one. There's also um, Woody and Bo Peep. Bo Peep looks like she could murder you in your sleep, but Ooh. there's a ton of amazing topiaries. And that's the square. Yes. Marvel Superhero Headquarters, which definitely has a gauntlet inside, 
is currently at capacity and their line is at capacity. So they are not taking any more people waiting in line for now, which means we can't go hold a gauntlet right now. But the good thing is that means neither can Molly and Breedlove. Right. So we're gonna start getting numbers and maybe try to block them with another one in that square. I'm sure we could find one. Yeah, see what we can do. They got the Raya clue, so we don't have a straight line there anywhere, which is good we didn't run over there. Because they're clearly over that way. Um, there's one row that nobody has anything in, okay. um, and then there's a couple where we could win. So we got to just keep racking up numbers and block right. them and try and get one in that row really quick so they okay. can't get that one. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect. One of them's the salad one and we need to find eight salads. We have five, Great. but I think we will soon have six because I've had a delicious salad here at the Earl of Sandwich. Yes. They have these fresh greens salads. Look at all those salads. I personally like the um, Earl's Cobb. My husband likes the Thai chicken. And on the menu overall though, these classic sandwiches are fan faves. Everybody loves the Thanksgiving one. I don't personally like like the holiday turkey. I don't like Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving, so I certainly don't want to eat it on a sandwich just <laughs> whenever. Yeah, yes, truly, like, no truly. thanks. <laughs> um, but I like the Hawaiian barbecue. And Ooh. this used to be a place like, when Disney Springs didn't have as good of food as it has now, this place was like, a hot spot but uh -huh. now it's still good but it's not as great but if you want a quick grab and go lunch it's a good spot and just a warning to my vegan friends the veggie sandwich comes tossed in a very generous amount of ranch dressing which is not vegan so you can't just say hold the cheese you have to also say please hold the ranch make it completely vegan but that's it's still a good tip. it's a very good veggie sandwich that's a good tip so this is not the disney springs no, water this tower this is the house of blues water tower which is a disney springs water tower yes um we checked with our producers because it's in disney springs <laughs> and we just have to name another disney water tower like um, the disney springs like water the, tower like the disney springs water tower yeah <laughs> the hollywood studios mickey water tower yeah. that was part of a backlot tour so there's two there's two other water towers just in case Naming the Disney Springs water tower doesn't count. All right. Hollywood Studios water tower. <laughs> or MGM Studios water tower. Oh, that's it. Tricky, tricky, that's tricky. It. Tried to trick me, didn't work. <laughs> Okay, we're headed to Ghirardelli right now because we only need one more chocolate menu item and then we get the square, and this square is very important because it is going to block them. So we are making our way to Ghirardelli right now. Uh, because obviously this is Ghirardelli, they're gonna have chocolate on the menu. They've got a hot fudge sundae right there. Let's see, let's see. Ice cream flavors, Ghirardelli chocolate, boom. There it is. So of course this is the famous Ghirardelli from San Fran. Um, they do some really cool sundaes in here with like actual pieces of Ghirardelli chocolate. It's a lot of fun and a very fabulous dessert spot, among many here at Springs. Okay, so a couple developments. One, we realize we're not blocked everywhere, but we are almost blocked. Um, there's only one more place we can go. There's only one more place we can go, so we're hopefully, um, we're gonna keep an eye out for clues like that, but we do wanna make sure that we're blocking um, Molly and Breedla on their last uh, column that they're going for and we wanted to go hold a gauntlet in the marble store to do that but we can't get into the marble store because it's at capacity we could not figure out secret wall for the life of us no but melissa is a genius and, i watch a lot of disney out. plus and she figured it out it's the new sulfur springs mural it's a new disney plus show and they actually have a photo up here at disney springs back behind the christmas store we are hiking over there because yeah. If you're unfamiliar, we are on the complete upper side of Disney Springs. So right here next to the PhotoPass Center, where you can do PhotoPass Studio, which is actually a different clue, but I feel like it'll take up too much time. There's this really cool Disney Springs mural, and Breedlove is so smart. He pointed out if you stand in the middle of some of those oranges, you're going to get orange Mickey ears. So go over there. Get okay. yourself some orange Mickey ears. Yeah, do okay. it. Do it. Get those ears. Okay. Uh, Higher, oh high, God. higher. <laughs> okay. That? Turn your head, go like this. There it is. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we just found out that Molly and Breedlove got orange ears. In an iconic way. In an, it's such a good picture. We can't even be upset. I'm not even mad because I got to see a picture of Breedlove with two oranges above his head. <laughs> it, was, it, was very, it was a very good look. Something you didn't know you needed. Something I did not know I needed.
And now we are going to go design a people mover phone case and a Haunted Mansion magic band. And I know exactly how to do this because I have made these for two different people before and I'm very excited to put my design skills to the test. To the test. So you can do it here in Co-op, which is a really cool Disney store where there's like six different sections. There's a men's apparel, women's apparel, a couple different things, but one of them is D-Tech, which is where you can design magic bands, magnets, stickers, and phone cases. There's a couple D-Techs around Disney. There's also one in um, Magic Kingdom at the exit of Space Mountain, but looks like there's not a line, hopefully, and we'll be able to do it quickly. Okay, panic. They're, I think they're all full. Yes. So um, we're gonna give it like two seconds. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we're gonna abandon this plan and go find more salads <laughs> or go to the stage or something because we don't have time to wait a minute. Numbers game. Numbers game. <laughs> Team Pixar. <laughs> Maybe let's work on this unscramble. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Tia handled Sifu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I like to write it out down the, at the bottom. Do you think it's... Oh, that's a good idea. T-H-E, the... So the would take out a T, an H, an E. I just, I just figured it out. You did? Yeah, it's the daily poutine. The daily poutine. This is my superpower. It's my favorite. But, oh, we can come on it. But we know that one now. Yay. Okay, let's design this thing. Oh, maybe not. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the phone cases are $29.99 or $34.99, um, depending on which one you get. And then it's $5 for personalization. The magic bands are $24.99 with $5 personalization and the magnets are $14. So it is a fun take home where you could find your favorite character or attraction or something and customize a little something for you. So we are going to go block them. We're right by center stage. We're going to go sing our favorite Mary Poppins song. Find a spoonful of sugar, what's yours? Um, uh, super Califies and Lucy Dixon. Right. Oh, actually, that might be my favorite too. We'll sing both just for good measure. But we are at center stage right now. This is a good place Running. <laughs> during regular times where you can watch live music. Right now they have DJs. It's pretty cool. And actually, it looks like there's a band setting up right now, which is super cool. So now at this point, we're going to get the stage. If we can get two more salads and the stage glue, we win in a straight line. So. Sing your favorite Mary Poppins song near center stage. We're coming up on it right now. Ooh. It's this big stage across from World of Disney. So let's get to singing. This is what the people want. One, two, three. A spoonful of sugar has the medicine go down. Feed the birds, toppins a bag, toppins, toppins, toppins a bag. Got it. Now that we have sung a beautiful song, yes. um, we are in, we just got to find two more salads and we could win this game. I'm very, very excited. I feel really good about it. And uh, I think we're going to, I see Quincy and Melissa. All right, so yeah. we got that one. Good job. And we're gonna move on. We gotta go check out Silver Springs. But hopefully, I think we're good in blocking them. I think we no. got it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Literally. I'm I mean, I don't see Melissa. I assume she's next to Quincy, though. But I, I can see oh my gosh. her Look. come up oh, right now. This is awkward. I see two Disney Channel stars. Oh, wow. Wow. Hi. Here in Disney Springs. What are you guys doing? Uh, we just sang Mary Poppins and got the center stage clue. That's oh, weird because we just sang Mary Poppins and got the Wait, center like right stage clue. Like Literally right now? Like right now. What song did you guys sing? Uh, I sang Sweet Full of Sugar and she sang Super Power Fragile to get to Oh, well, we sang Feed the Birds together. in unison. Together. We counted to three and just accidentally start, started uh, singing the same song. It was yeah, beautiful. Accidentally, but you counted to yes. three? Well, we, we said, well, let's each sing our favorite on the count of three and it oh, happened to be the same song. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Anyway, cute. um,. Who gets the square? Um, I'm gonna I have guess. to look at the timestamp. We'll look at yep. the timestamp. Right. Okay. Look at it okay. and then say it at the same time. So this one was. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's what time we have. This is us singing "Feed the Birds." It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
Yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> the sound. We didn't check it. No, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. All right. Say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Four fifty. No. <laughs> it literally is four fifty. Are there seconds on this? Wow. So we've decided as a group of good people that can work together well, that we're crossing that off the list. That's what she said, toppings, toppings, toppings So we decided nobody gets the square. We can't count it a straight line, like we can't go get the one other clue we needed right there and count it as a straight line. So now there's a couple lines we can still get. They can't get any straight lines. Um, and now if it comes to numbers, there's no way to tie. So, well, we're gonna go get that daily poutine clue because- yes. Because you're a genius. I don't I'm sorry, it. your brain works in magical ways, Molly. I'm just glad it works for my job. <laughs> it really does. We are headed up to Days of Christmas which is the year-round Christmas store. You can buy Christmas ornaments, which is really fun because a lot of people, no matter what time of year they come to Disney World, they want to get Christmas ornaments to remember it, to remember the trip. And Days of Christmas has a lot of really cute ones, but we're not headed into Days of Christmas today. We're headed around it. We're headed around Days of Christmas. <laughs> we have arrived at a very secret wall because it's so this secret is, it says I was like, this is such a tucked away and almost forgotten dare i say yeah it says <laughs> corner secret of, on it too right right here this looks very secretive is right, this girl right a ghost how is this flashlight be is this am i supposed to hold this flashlight i'm not saying anything <laughs> this is right right i figured it out <laughs> yes <laughs> okay our best disney dining tips all right secret wall we so, have found secret wall. Yeah, you wanna start? Yes, so my first dining tip is to make your dining reservations the first day you're able to. That's 60 days before your trip, unless you're a resort guest, because then it's 60 days plus the length of your stay. Yes, that's a good one, a very important one. Um, to piggyback on that one, make sure that when you make your reservations, you make your high demand reservations first. So that's your Be Our Guest, that's your Cinderella Royal Table, anything that you know the reservations tend to go quickly, you can find out all about that on our we, we tend to mark when things are super popular. So make those reservations first because they will go fast on that 60 day mark. And then go ahead to your other ones that you think might not go as quickly, like Super Canteen and stuff like that. And then, oh, my other tip is don't feel like you're limited to dining in the park you're in. If you know that one of the hotels nearby has a really good restaurant, feel free to make a reservation. Um, there are some really awesome restaurants in the resort hotels. They're definitely some of my favorite restaurants are outside of the park. And if you don't have a resort day, you might miss out on some of those. So I definitely think booking a table service restaurant at one of the resorts is a good tip. But yeah, that's four dining tips. Four. Courtesy of Team Pixar. Team Pixar. Team Pixar. <laughs> we are at the Daily Poutine, which is a quick service cart. Um, and it serves obviously poutine, which is french fries covered in deliciousness. Yum. And they have a bunch of different ones. They've got a classic one. They have an Italian one. They have a seasonal one that'll change throughout the, uh, the months. But we have to tell us that our favorite poutine. Ooh. I need to go look at the menu. Wait, you mean on this menu or in history? I think at Disney World. Our favorite poutine in Disney World. Okay, yeah. got it. So they have an Italian, a Canadian, a French, a Latin, and a loaded fries, and a banger's poutine is the seasonal. I'm going to say the classic Canadian's my yeah. favorite. Am I allowed to say the Canadian also? Yeah, even okay. though you can't eat it. I can't eat it, yeah. but the the classic is the first that I had in, in, in Canada mm. with the actual real cheese curds, Yum, with the so gravy. Good. There is nothing like real, authentic, original poutine. Yeah. Things, I will say, do not look very good. Um, no, but we're, <laughs> where's the optimism? Some, we've had some unfortunate uh, situations today. We currently have seven, and Molly and Breedlove have 10, or 11. 11, I wow. think. So they have 11, which means we literally have to get every single one of the rest of the clues, or they beat us. So, um, 
Yeah. We're moving, <laughs> we're moving at a good speed here, but I'm my optimism is gone. Um, I'm not I'm not too happy with the Now situation. it's realism. Yeah, now it's realism. I'm just trying to be realistic. We are outside World of Disney. We're about to see our favorite thing in every window, moving with speed. Right now, we can't head into World of Disney because there is a really long wait, and it does actually loop all the way over there and back around to the side of the store. So not super easy to get into World of Disney right now, but we can certainly window shop, and that is what we intend to do. My favorite thing in this window are those Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway ears. What are My yours? favorite thing in this window is this front sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. I like this like comic strip vibe. That's very very good. cute. We need two more salads to get that square. And I am looking at Amorettes, which most people see as a dessert location. But I think they also have salads. I know they've got savories. Oh, that's a sandwich. That's a sandwich with greens. We're not gonna wait in this long line. No. We'll go find another menu or okay, two. Okay, okay, okay. So that's these are cute. super cute, adorable, poseable, so collectible fun. plushes. They're expensive, but they are fun. Yes. And my favorite thing absolutely is the little Mickey Minnie though. But I really uh, like that coat that Minnie is wearing. I was gonna say the coat the that coat Minnie is, is wearing. The coat is good. I wish that coat bright. was people sized. Uh, I could maybe squeeze in like... You could probably fit in most <laughs> That'd be impressive, but I think you could do it. Oh my goodness. All right, cool. Great. Next one down. <laughs> we are now at the Polite Pig, because I know they have a salad on their menu. I've eaten it before. It's fabulous. This is an amazing barbecue spot. And they have the Chipotle Cobb or the Polite Caesar. Now the Chipotle Cobb was amazing, but if you're going to eat at the Polite Pig and you're a meat eater, you have got to eat the brisket. Uh, and if you're anyone, including you, have yes. you had their Brussels sprouts? The best Brussels sprouts I've had anywhere in my life. Yeah, they're incredible. Whiskey caramel Brussels sprouts, amazing. And if you think that Brussels sprouts can't be special, just trust us. They're so good. They do platters here that's really popular where you pick your meat and then a couple sides. They do it just a sides uh, platter. They have a bourbon bar, really, really good spot. And for quick service, unbelievable. We're outside of Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, one of my all-time favorite Disney restaurants. Yes. And I know for sure that they've got salads on the menu. Fried chicken salad. Boom. Right there. There it there. is. There it Beautiful. Is. Oh, and they have a 1981 salad. And a harvest salad. that might be the year I was born. I'm not saying anything. Spirit jersey. I wish it weren't for kids. I'm gonna go with this Disney dad hat. That's a good one. <laughs> Disney dad is a good one. It has one. ears and all. Hello? Hey, what you doing? Hey, I'm um, filming. Oh, are, you're filming? You're, you're not too busy being a loser? Yeah, um, what do you mean loser? The game's not over yet. We just got the last salad, which means we won in a numbers game, no matter what. They just got the last salad. What do you mean, no matter what? Hold on. Well, you blocked us very, very stealthily. You blocked us from ever getting a straight line, so it was kind of come down to a numbers game. And without the Mary Poppins clue, it was going to have to be 12 to 11, and we have 12. They, de they definitely beat us from numbers. Oh. They've done it. The uh, the salad clue is what did us in. So, all right. I have a good well. idea. I have a really good idea, though. You have a good idea? That yeah. sounds doubtful. There's only one thing for us to do next. What? all winners after those glamour shots. Oh yeah. Well, we hope you had fun following along on this team scavenger hunt in Disney Springs. Let us know in the comments who and where to play next. Remember to follow us on social media, like, sub like subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And until next time, I'm Breedlove. I'm Melissa. I'm Quincy. I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
Hey everybody, it's Molly. Thanks for watching this Teams Challenge at Disney Springs. We sure hope you enjoyed it, especially those glamour shots. If you'd like to play along, we've got the boards for you. Just head over to allears.net slash scavenger dash hunt, sign up for our free newsletter, and those boards are coming straight to your inbox. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when new episodes are coming out. If you'd like more Ultimate Challenges, head over here to watch all of the Disney World Ultimate Tournament in our March Madness bracket. And if you want more All Ears, click over here for a video of me exploring the best that Disney Springs has to offer. Thanks for watching.